So open science for me means new, inclusive, diverse and integrated approaches to the production and use of solutions-oriented knowledge. And of course the engine to, to all of this, the engine of open science is an absolutely fundamental condition, is that we have open access and open data. Well, for the International Council of Science, one of its biggest flagship initiatives that really tries to take all these dimensions of open science forward is um, a new global research platform on global sustainability called Future Earth. It was established in 2012, um, brings together and has merged decades of global environmental change programming at the international level and it is a program that is co-sponsored um, co with the International Social Science Council, with a group of global funders, as well as a number of UN agencies. So in many ways, it, it exemplifies this kind of um, open science approach. It looks at interdisciplinarity, transdisciplinarity, in other words, the engagement with users. Um, it, it, takes open data issues very seriously and it's very much geared towards um, making sure that science, technology and innovation helps to achieve the sustainable development goals. Yeah, actually basically what we are looking at that the earth is a one system and the various processes which are happening is interconnected. So when we want to use or uh, the information about the earth system and to build certain services say for agriculture or for the hazards then we need to integrate the data of a entire globe the isprs is uh, very critical in this uh, whole thing because the one is the we need global observation especially a satellite based observation which is one of the very important topic uh, which ISPRS deals both from the sensors angle as well as the remote sensing. The second important part which uh, ISPRS is closely is related to various measurements, uh, especially photogrammetry and uh, related computer vision and all. So which is also in this understanding, this forms a very critical role because we use all kinds of information which is available. And third, the large amount of data is organized because of the global data. We also need the special information science or GIS as we call it, is also part of uh, this. So ISPRS, the all his major functions is very much critical to understand the entire earth system. And lastly, the we need also to build capacity, which is also ISPRS a major activity where you need to build capacity at various levels, at individual level, at organizational level, at the national and regional level. So all this ISPRS has been uh, contributing very immensely. So I think uh, both this is very closely related to ISPRS objectives and as a general society, what they would like to do. Uh, I work in an area called science diplomacy. Um, where science is not just a matter of thinking in terms of science into policy or science policy interactions, but science diplomacy is actually an activity, uh, an ongoing initiative uh, process that uh, involves the entire world and in all of the information that we produce as a, as a society, as a civilization. And for the young people that are beginning their careers, uh, you're often told that uh, interdisciplinary is a, is a uh, jack of all trades, a master of none, and uh, are discouraged from thinking in terms of an interdisciplinary context. Um, I would counter that with saying that every collaboration, whatever it is, requires that each individual in that collaboration brings strength to the table in one way or another. So it is required to have a skill, an insight, an expertise. However, interdisciplinary is far more complicated because not only do you have to bring your skill to the table, but you have to be in a position to understand those of other experts who speak different languages in a sense, who have different jargons and different emphasis, and to be able to bridge those different disciplinaries to come up with shared solutions, solutions that are helpful to the world we live in. And I think this is, this is probably the most 
important gift in terms of education of young people is to follow your intuition, to not be discouraged by those that say you can't do something or to be, be concerned about the lack of funding or other issues. Follow your intuition and your heart and produce things that will be helpful to the world and at the end of your life when you look back and you think about what you've accomplished, you in some way will have made a contribution.